Welcome back to our channel. Want to watch some celebrities freak out in the face of wild and exotic animals? Let's dive right in. He wants to give you kisses to <laughs> Number five, Kevin Hart. For some reason, celebrities freaking out over animals in front of other celebrities is even more hilarious. As part of his YouTube show, Kevin Hart, What the Fit, Hart brought a fellow Jumanji co-star, Nick Jonas. When asked to hold exotic animals, Hart doesn't even think about it. He said he knows the animals aren't going to jump out at him because he wasn't even going to touch them. In the face of the admittedly giant snake, Hart ultimately freaks out. He runs away and takes cover in the car. That wasn't Hart's biggest hysterical reaction by far. If you happened to tune in to The Tonight Show on September 19th, 2018, you would have seen his reaction to an ostrich, two snakes, and the biggest doozy, a tarantula called Big Red, held by none other than the late Steve Irwin's son, Robert Irwin. At the sight of it, Hart breaks all the unspoken talk show rules and runs to the other side of the stage, demanding that Irwin stay away. Emperor Scorpion here. Jeez! Brother, where's your fear? It's not gonna jump at you, yeah. I promise. Yeah, I promise it won't, because I ain't gonna touch it. See, this is Giselle. Oh! So money to <laughs> Brother, come on. Go ahead, Jimmy, you do well, wait, we've got, we've got another one. <laughs> Jimmy, just, come on out, we've got another one. Sorry. Oh, no, stay, stay right here. Stay. <laughs> Jimmy, get it! Robbie, Jimmy, Jimmy, get it, everybody! Jimmy, get it! Number four, Steve Harvey. Like Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey doesn't make it a secret how much he detests dealing with wild animals. The result? Hilarity ensues every time he interacts with one especially the animals Jeff Musial, the animal guy, brings on his show. Granted, his reaction wasn't very hysterical when he fed a small monkey some grapes, albeit from a distance. However, when Jeff brought out a kinkajou named Casanova, all bets were off. From the start, Steve scrambles to put some distance between him and the animals and proceeds to back away every time Jeff brings it closer. The wildest was when Steve was asked if he wanted to hold the kinkajou at which he responded, I do not want to hold it. And when asked if he wants to feed it a grape, his response is a deadpan, no. Things get further out of control when Jeff demonstrates the kinkajou's ability to hold on to things with its tail by swinging it around and towards Steve. That's when he truly and courageously hightails it out of there. You gave him a grape, so you're on a good side. Right, here. You're good side. Don't get your monkey hurt. We won't. Mm -mm. Okay. See? Oh, okay. No, just hang on. I mean, they'll swing from tree to tree. They'll be hanging here and just be like, woo! Just kind of hang out. Just kind of, you know, they so just hang out. Before we continue watching a favorite TV host lose his marble several times, just hit the like button to fully support us. Number three, Jimmy Fallon. Every Jimmy Fallon and Jeff Musial moment is more iconic than the other. Something about Jeff's chaotic sense of humor and Jimmy's reactions just makes each interaction remarkable. In one episode, Jeff brings out Nala, a baby mountain lion, also known as a screamer. From the get-go, Nala is growling. After Jeff talks a little about her, including her sharp retractable claws, Jimmy nearly flies out of his seat, and when she abruptly flips over on her back towards him, he hilariously says, I saw those retractable claws coming at me. Jimmy only truly gets up and declares that he can't do this anymore when Jeff brings out an ominous box marked with skulls and scares him. Jimmy actually takes a couple of moments to rest on the monitors away from the stage before he comes back. And that was before he found out scorpions were inside. A box. Poof! Oh, oh, man. I'm ah, just kidding. Number two, Ellen DeGeneres. Is it a good idea to bring a colossally large anaconda in front of a large audience? On The Ellen Show, animal expert Jeff Corwin helped the TV hostess hold up one end of the giant 200-pound heavy snake while he held up its head. The anaconda didn't want to be that far away from Ellen. As Ellen laughed almost hysterically, almost losing her grip on the snake, it wrapped itself around her in a rather uncomfortable position. She even called over a producer, unable to even form words. That wasn't the tipping point, however. Apparently, the anaconda's affections quickly turned sour as it lunged at Ellen, making her laugh even more uncontrollably with a bright red face and run away. Number one, 
Number one, Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks thought she was making Hillary Duff's day by bringing the zoo to her right on the show, but it ended with Tyra hysterically screaming. Here's Tyra Banks' chaotic reaction. She brought out zoologist Jared Miller. First, he introduced them to a wallaby that's the size of a baby kangaroo. And while Hillary fawns over the tiny creature, Tyra states clearly that she's not going to touch it. Much to the audience's amusement, Tyra screams when Hillary startles her. The next animal, a rodent called a viscacha, outright makes Tyra scramble out of her seat to get away from. Her demand to bring out the next animal almost comes back and bites her. At the sight of a porcupine, she backs away from it until her chair flips over backwards. The model screams, and everyone race to help her back up. She continues to be loud even as Hillary calms down and strokes the porcupine. When Jared brings out a bear cat, Tyra once again freaks out. This time, she swears. The next animal, a squirrel monkey, that makes her hysterically laugh and refuse to sit back down. And that's a wrap on one of the most chaotic Tyra Banks shows. I'm gonna hold him right on my lap. There we go. Oh my God, I don't like him either. I don't really like him either. Oh my God, he scares me. I like you. Oh my God. Now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. This one. Oh my God. This is awesome. Oh that was sweet. Oh now. That was all for today, guys. Let us know in the comments which of these reactions you thought was the most hysterical. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating videos for you. Till the next one.